Ini ya. When I was a boy, I used to cower underneath my blue and white cloudy sky wool sheets that my grandmother bought at just the nearest of thunderstorms. As if I was engulfed amidst the Second World War, and each lightning bolt fracture in the sky's wounded cheeks was a muzzle flash at the hands of an Astra 903. Wavering in the hand of a man whose eyes have been witness to death and now simply fighting to live another day, to take another breath, take another breath. Momentarily living in that moment when acts of patriotism catalyst the acts of self salvation, a man will do a lot to see his family again. But you see, unlike the realities of the battlefield, it often only took the laughter of my father in the living room. Bring me the warmth of victory without the crimson bloodshed of sacrifice. Where resolution didn't come from counting ballots or casualties, but rather from the very man whom I'd be considered his next of kin. There were no calculated arguments about NAFTA or DACA, no deeply embedded concern about World War III. For my safety was in Treaty D A D. So thank you, Dad. <laughs>